it was amazing getting the, you know, the full news that we were receiving full certification because we've invested so much in this building and it's been so much time to, to make sure that the building is not only performing the way we want it, but that it's, it fits in with our surroundings here. And so hearing that we'd achieved what's really the most stringent standard for building certification programs was amazing to find out. The building's been in operation for a year and a half, and the way these projects go, a lot of the work is actually during the operation when you're making sure it's operating very sustainably and efficiently. And then there was uh, over a year of planning ahead of that, and that's actually for a building like this a very short amount of time, but it's been almost two and a half or three years now that we've been working on this project to achieve this level of certification. Everyone at every level has just made decisions for the right reasons to meet the spirit of the Living Building Challenge, you know, not just meet the, you know, the exact checklist, but just to meet the spirit of it, to create a building that has just almost no impact on the earth. A lot of people have wanted to know the building secrets, and we're happy to tell them because that's part of the learning process, sharing what we've learned with everybody else. And that's one of the other wonderful aspects of this building is there are huge expensive features on here that most people wouldn't be able to to add to their home but then there are really small fifty dollar hundred dollar additions or modifications that they could implement in their own home and so when people come and see this building there's so many features and such a range of features that they can always take something away with them that they can implement at home which is really nice for example photovoltaic power the building is completely uh, self-sustaining in terms of energy with energy produced from the sun with photovoltaic solar panels. Right now, photovoltaic solar panels, even though they're wonderful for creating renewable energy, they're just not cost effective. You're always going to put more money into the solar panels than you get in energy savings. And so for a lot of people, that's not something that's really going to be a, a viable option for them. But then on the other hand, there are a lot of conservation features which anybody can implement. And one of my favorites is in the bathroom, the lighting is completely through what are called solar tubes, which are round tubular skylights. And those are something that you can buy locally. You can have almost anybody install them. And they're just an absolutely wonderful way to add natural daylighting in an interior space and save money and electricity while you're doing it. I definitely think much more about natural lighting and natural ventilation as a result of this building. But the thing that fascinates everyone the most, and I must admit, I am one of those people that it fascinates, is the toilet. Oh. Um, you know, it's a toilet that it's completely a natural process. I mean, it uses no water and the waste product can be recycled. Um, so from a sustainability point of view, it's amazing. We are able to meet a challenge of, of finding a sustainable and local source of wood for the finished wood on this building by using wood that came right from Tyson itself. And so we had a mandate to make sure that wood products were harvested sustainably, didn't come from too far away. We knew these were harvested sustainably because we either harvested invasive species and used them in the, in the building, or we used dead logs in the forest around here in the building. And you can't get much more sustainable than that. And every single piece of wood came from within about two miles of where we are right now, all the finished wood. And so you can't get much more local than that either. And the way we're able to integrate a resource we have right here at Tyson with this building and integrate it with some of our research activities with the removal of the invasive species, by far that's my favorite part of the story. The entire way the outdoors and the indoors just merge. And so the indoor classroom merges seamlessly with the outdoor deck. And then, you know, on the outdoor deck, we have that beautiful rain sculpture that catches the rain to sort of slow down the runoff. This project took so much work and it didn't end when people thought it would end. It didn't end when the building was completed. It ended when we received certification a year and a half after the building was completed. And throughout that whole period, every single person in the university who worked on this project remains committed to it. And so that was a really wonderful surprise that we had. Um, I think another really nice surprise we had is just the, the way that this building grabs people's attention. Um, and it really inspires them. And the amount of visitor, visitors we've had here and the reaction from those visitors, seeing a building like this in action that's been designed and operated in this way and is working successfully, um, it's, it's wonderful to see how people are so, uh, so interested in this these days.